Hi, and welcome to Hopscotch. In this video, we're going to learn how to make a version of Crossy Road, a game where you control a chicken and try to get it to reach the top of the screen without being run over by cars. If you ever get confused while making this game, just pause and rewind the video. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is add our main character. To find characters, tap on this gray plus button at the bottom of your screen. I'm going to pick the chicken emoji. You can pick whatever character you want, but if you use an emoji, you'll need to select a text object. So let's open our emoji keyboard, which you can do by tapping the smiley face button. And I'm going to scroll until I find the chicken emoji. So let's select it, then press the turquoise check button. Now by default, Hopscotch names text objects, text, text to, etc. You'll want to rename each text object according to the role it'll serve in your project. So here, let's rename the chicken emoji hero by tapping the bolded text below it and typing in hero, then pressing check. In programming, it's important to name your objects well so that you and other people can easily read your code in the future. All right, now let's add buttons to make our character move. Let's add another text object. Go back to our emoji keyboard and let's pick the up arrow button, which is all the way to the right on our keyboard. So select the up arrow button, press check, and let's drag this all the way to the lower left corner of our screen and rename this text object up. Cool, now let's do the same for our left and right buttons. Tap the gray plus button, go back to emojis, and let's scroll until we find the left arrow text object. And let's drag this to the lower left corner of our up button and rename this left. Perfect, and last but not least, let's add our right arrow button. Press check, and let's drag this to the lower right of our up button. And you guessed it, let's rename this right. Perfect. So now we need to create a rule for our chicken so that when the direction buttons are tapped, it moves around. So find chicken, tap on it, and select plus add code. Here the whens menu pops up in our keyboard. This is where you decide when your object does what you tell it to do. This is also referred to as an event or when something happens. So here select is tapped in the magenta iPad menu. And see how there's an iPad icon between when and is tapped? Tap that bubble and then tap up in the objects menu so that our up emoji is now in the bubble. So here we've just created a rule that will happen when you tap on the up button. Inside this rule, let's pick a block that moves our hero up when we tap the button. To move, find the red movement tab and let's select change Y by. Now this is how we'll make our character move up or down. Now when you move an object around on your screen, you may notice two numbers next to it. These are the object's coordinates. The first number measures how far the character is on the left to right axis, or the x-axis, and the second number measures how high the character is on the up-down axis, or the y-axis. So to move our chicken up, we want to use a positive number. Let's try 25. Tap on the bubble in the change y by block, and let's type in 25. Press check, and then press play the turquoise triangle in the upper right corner. Now when you press up, the chicken moves up. But if we press the other buttons, he doesn't do anything. That's because we haven't written those rules for him yet. So let's do that now. We can go back to edit mode by tapping the pen button at the top right of your screen. And let's add a new rule. To clarify, we're still adding code to the chicken, 
so make sure you're adding this code to the right object by looking at what's at the top of this blue box. Is it a chicken? Good. Now to add a new when, tap plus new when under your first magenta block. For this event, let's use the same when as last time, is tapped, and tap the white bubble between when and is tapped, but this time let's select left in the objects menu. Now when the left button is tapped, we want the chicken to move. If change Y by moved our chicken up or down, what block do we need to move the chicken left? Change X by. So find that block in the red section of the keyboard, the movement tab, and here we want to use a negative number because we want to subtract from the chicken's X position. So we're going to pick negative 25 because that moves the chicken left. If we put a positive number, the chicken will move right. So let's scroll up. The negative button is the plus slash minus. And press check and let's see what happens. So if we press play in the upper right corner, we press up, the chicken moves up. And if we press left, he moves left. Perfect. Now let's go back to edit and make our final control rule. Tap the pen at the upper right corner of our screen. And again, we're still adding code to the chicken. So let's tap plus new when and select is tapped. And this time pick the right button in our objects menu. See why it's important to name our objects? If we left them as text in text too, this would be a lot harder. Now go to the red movement tab and we're going to pick change X by again because we want to move the chicken emoji right. And if moving left is negative 25, how do we move right? This time, let's put in positive 25 because we're making the X coordinate bigger. So let's see what happens. Test out each button and make sure the chicken is moving in the right direction. Awesome, so now we have a fully moving chicken. Now it's time to make our cars. The car I want to use is an emoji, so let's create a new text object. Let's X out of here, tap the gray plus button, and let's go to our emoji keyboard and scroll until we find the red car emoji. There we go, press check. And let's rename this text object car1. Okay. And let's drag car1 to the upper right of our chicken. Cool, now let's make the car move around. Before we do that though, let's look at the finished game. Pay attention to what the car is doing and see if you can make a list of steps the car is taking. What does it do first? Then what? These steps are called a sequence or an ordered list of instructions that can be repeated. Now that we have a good idea of what the car is doing, let's see if we can recreate it. This time we're adding code to the car emoji, so tap plus add code and select game starts under the iPad when menu. This means that when the game starts, the first thing we're going to do is make our car move. So go to the red movement tab and pick move forward. Move forward works a little differently from change X by or change Y by. Normally it moves your character to the right if you use a positive number and to the left if you're using a negative number. But if you flip the character, then move forward will go in the opposite direction. In this case, we're going to move our car negative 900 because we want the car to move left, and we want to flip the car so it's facing the other way. So if we go back to the red movement tab, let's select flip, and after flipping, we want the car to move forward negative 900 again. Since it now faces the opposite direction, negative 900 will make it go right. So instead of adding more move forward and flip blocks, we're going to repeat the process. So go to the blue control flow tab to the right and select a repeat forever block. Let's drag our move forward and flip blocks inside the loop by pressing down and dragging each directly inside. So pause and make sure your blocks are in the same order as mine because in a sequence, order is important. So now the car will move forward, flip, move forward again, flip, so on and so forth forever. Let's see what that looks like. Tap the turquoise triangle and perfect. 
So now I want to make one more change because the speed of this car is constant and I want to change it so the game gets a little harder. Let's go back to edit by tapping the pen and add one more block. Tap under the flip block and select set speed from movement. And let's set the speed to random, which is the purple math operator here to the right. And we'll set it between 200, which is pretty slow, to 600, which is a little bit faster. Let's see how that works. Cool. So now our car's movement is different each time and we can't predict whether its speed will be fast or slow. This will definitely make it trickier for our chicken emoji to get past. But if our chicken emoji does bump into the car, we need to add code that turns the chicken invisible and ends our game. So let's go back to edit, and because this event is going to affect the chicken, let's scroll up to chicken and give it a new rule. So tap plus new when. And for this when, we want a collision for when the chicken bumps the car. So scroll to the right in the magenta whens menu and select bumps. And here we can tap the two anything bubbles and pick hero for the first one. And if we scroll to the right, let's pick car one for the second bubble. In this event, if chicken bumps car, we want the chicken to turn invisible. To do that, let's go to our green looks and sounds tab and select set invisibility. If we scroll up, we'll set this to 100 because we won't see it at all since it's 100% invisible. If an object's invisibility is zero, on the other hand, we'll be able to see it completely because it's 0% invisible. Let's try it out. So press play and if chicken bumps into car, there we go. It should turn invisible and you won't be able to play anymore. Perfect. Now to make our game even trickier, let's add another car. This time, find the yellow car emoji. So if we X out of here, tap the gray plus button. Let's find the yellow car, press check. And let's drag our yellow car just above our first car. And let's go ahead and rename this car two. Cool. Now we want car 2 to do the same thing as car 1, so let's give it the same rules. If we tap plus add code, we want to select game starts, and under the control flow tab, the blue, let's select repeat forever again, and add a move forward from the red movement tab, and go ahead type in negative 900, and also from the red movement tab select flip, then finally set speed and let's set speed to random from the purple math operators and type in 200 in the first bubble and 600 in the second. So let's try it out. Perfect, that looks great. Now let's note there's a way to stick these blocks into a new custom block so we don't have to repeat ourselves and write the same code over and over again for each new car we add. So let's look at the code for car one. And in the same magenta when game starts block, tap underneath the blue repeat forever block to pick a block. And here we want the gray custom tab and select new block, which is under follow finger. Let's name this drive around. And here drive around pops up, let's select it. And now we can drag all the code we added before by tapping and holding the blue repeat forever block and dragging it directly into drive around. Now take a second to make sure that your code wound up in exactly the same order as mine. Now everything we coded before is in this one block and can be reused for each new car we add as an ability. So let's add one more car to try out our new drive around block. If we X out of here, Tap plus new when. Let's scroll until we find the blue car emoji. And let's drag this blue car right above yellow and rename this car three. 
Let's add new code. And again, we'll select when game starts. But this time, let's pick drive around from our custom tab. And if we tap anywhere on the drive around header, the block will open up. And we'll see that all of our code from car one now also applies to car three. So that makes our life a lot easier. Awesome. And before we forget, let's add car one's collision code to car two and car three. So when chicken bumps the yellow and blue cars, they also turn invisible. So if we scroll up, let's find our code for our chicken and find when chicken bumps red car. So to make our lives easier, let's press and hold down on the block. It should turn turquoise and this gives us the option to copy the entire block. Now press copy and directly underneath, let's add a new when. And if we press and release our finger, that should give us the option to paste. And if we select that, voila, we have an identical copy of our when chicken bumps red car block. But this time, let's change red car to car two or car three. So tap the red car and scroll and select car two. So now when chicken bumps car two, it turns invisible also. And finally for car three, let's do the same thing. Copy, paste, and our last step is changing car two to car three. So now when chicken bumps car one, car two, or car three, it should turn invisible in each case. So let's try that. Gets past car one, perfect, he disappears. And if the chicken can get past our first two cars and bumps into car three, he also turns invisible, perfect. And there we go, we have a basic working crossy road game. You can keep working to add a prize to your game, make your objects bigger, add a background, more obstacles, whatever you want. Have fun!